Welcome to Joe's Astrology. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. If you like astrology, I have hundreds of videos on astrology and spirituality and looking at many YouTubers' charts. And this is Broly Gaines. He's a YouTuber with over a million subscribers. He's a fitness guy. Uh, he's in great shape. Um, and I really like his content, so I'm glad I'm happy to do this here. And let's see, let's take a look here. First and foremost, he has Jupiter in Leo. And it is in the Sagittarius Deccan at 12 degrees. So we see this is a guy who has the creative impulse and it's big and expansive. And that's what you see in his content. Uh, he's very fiery. Now, of course, you can fake these things, but you can tell you can tell the guy's not faking it. And if you wanna, if you really want to prove he's not faking it, just look at his, at his astrology. And here we see Jupiter and Leo. So it's like this guy looks like a king and acts like a king and has Jupiter and Leo. We could say is very king-like. And it's making a square to. It's making a square to his sun in Scorpio and his Venus in Scorpio. So even though it's a square and it's known as a um, not as desirable uh, aspect, any aspect is better than no aspect. And, and with Jupiter and Venus there, that's a good contact to have between the two benefic planets, the favorable planets of Venus and Jupiter, and then throw the sun in there as well. So this guy's a teacher. You can see with that contact to Jupiter, he's a teacher. But he's a teacher in a way that makes big money. Uh, he's a teacher in things that are less known. I mean, you could consider calisthenics not the most popular way to get fit. Um, and that's where you see the Scorpio piece. You got Pluto there as well. Um, calisthenics can be very tough. It, they can be it can be very hard, and but the the benefits are extraordinary. So that's where you see the kind of the little bit of a difference in this guy with the Scorpio. Um, but definitely the Leo piece. He's a YouTube YouTuber with over a million subscribers. You got to consider that this guy uh, can make big money with what he's doing. And he has a stellium there in Scorpio. Uh, so, you know, is he, a, he could he be considered a, a, a sex symbol? For sure. And that's part of his success is that um, the guy has great sex appeal. And that's what we see here with, with all those planets here in Scorpio, particularly also um, making contacts to Pluto there. And I don't say that in a, in a negative way at all. It's, that's just the way it is. Um, so being a YouTuber, we have to look at Aquarius again. He's got the North Node in Aquarius, so his life path is moving towards that North Node in Aquarius, and that's where we see everything moving towards YouTube, the internet, and we see he has a South Node at one degrees Leo, so that Jupiter's moving away from that South Node where he's coming from. So he's coming from this Leo place as well, and he's bringing it. He's bringing that to the internet. He's to Aquarius, YouTube, YouTube, and all the other social media he may use. We can look at um, his Uranus as well, with the rule, being the ruler of Aquarius. He's in that generation that's uh, a section of the generation that's conjunct Neptune and in the same sign as Saturn. So his work. His work um, and what he um, what he wants to bring to the public can be slightly different. Or it could be a very very much different. Um, in his case, it's probably consider it slightly different. Um, we don't have the birth time. This is not a chart with the birth time. I forgot to mention that. So the houses are not correct, and the moon is going to be a little bit off. But it looks like it could be in a close opposition to that Uranus. So we see Uranus making a aspect to the moon. 
making it have the uh, similarity to a Aquarius moon. We see it's making a contact as well to the Mars and to the um, and in conjunct to that Jupiter in Leo as well. And there could be more, a lot of times if we had the birth chart, I could get more specific. I'm sorry, with the, if I had the time of the birth chart, I could get more specific. Um, we have Mars and Gemini, so we can see this guy's driven to seek out information. You can see him kind of leading towards uh, more getting deeper into health and information and the food aspect and things like that and maybe even spirituality or self-actualization teaching and things of that nature. And it's retrograde, so it's showing that he's done this before. He's um, doing some, redoing something in this life. So, I mean, so everyone, everyone watching videos like that, we think we can be like them, and for sure we can make improvements, but more likely than not, we won't. You know, you see people commenting, like, is this guy on steroids, etc. And this is where you see, you really see the way spirituality works and energy and and how with this guy and this guy's life, it's not, this is not something new for him. It's something he's been doing for a long time. And if you don't believe in reincarnation, check out my videos on reincarnation. Um, you know, if you don't believe in reincarnation or you don't understand understand it or have any knowledge of it you, you might not agree with what i just said there but that's how this that's it's a big piece of astrology and that's how this whole thing works but moving on let's get into this moon he's got moon and cancer and he has all that water and scorpio and it's making a trine that's the easy aspect the harmonious aspect the pleasing aspect uh, and with that moon we see like we see a moon venus possibly here we see a moon, uh, moon, sun, and and he can you, he can really relate to the public and people watch him. Of course, they see the big muscles and attractive, strong-willed, uh, great personality. But he also comes across as he's as a nurturer and someone who cares. Like he's he's producing his content because he cares for the public, and that's what you that's where you see the moon moon there in Cancer, and. If you haven't seen my videos on Moon and Cancer, check out. Uh, I'll actually link that to the end of this video uh, with a description of Moon and Can a deeper description of Moon and Cancer. And one more thing, he does have this Sun. It's not in exactly a square, but I'm going to consider that Scorpio stellium squaring the nodes. So there is even with that Jupiter and Leo. This guy looks arrogant. If he looks cocky, um, it's very important for him to express that Leo in this life. Um, for I don't really know that I can't say the reason, but that's what the chart says. It's very important for him to resolve um, this Leonian image for some reason in this life. So I'll leave it at that. And again, I'm gonna. Attach the Moon and Cancer video here. It should be popping up now. And have a great day.